Hey all, this is Mr. Hammond, and in this video I'm going to show you a whiteboard tool that's just a little bit more feature rich than the internal tool that you have available. So it's so feature rich I'm going to essentially split this into three videos. Today, uh, with this video I'm just going to show you the basic uh, key whiteboard uh, options that it has available. So let's start with how you get to it. First, it's called links. So to access links or to find links and add it to your Clever Touch as an app, go ahead and navigate to the Clever Store if you don't already have it. And it should be located under the featured item. So if I just scroll over here, it looks like this fancy X. I can hit that fancy X and then download uh, links. Once I have it downloaded, let's go ahead and go back to the home menu. I can access it from my apps. So I could hit apps and I look for that fancy X and open it. What I would recommend if this is something that you plan on using a lot is to select your favorites and add it to your favorites by hitting the little plus sign, finding that fancy X and adding it. Notice I've already added it to my favorites page. So let's go ahead and open that app. If you don't see this as your main screen, that means it needs updating. So to do that, you could go back to the Clever Store, find links, and it should have an update button. If it doesn't, and you still don't see this uh, option, let me know, and I'd be happy to help you uh, get that updated. Once you get to this point, let's start with the whiteboard. So the whiteboard is found through the Create button. So we'll hit Create. And then we have several different options. So the default option is going to utilize the entire screen. Another option that you might at some point use is if you choose to use the split screen tool, which we'll talk about in the ne next video, you might orient the, the screen uh, like so over here. That way it utilizes the entire screen. So let's go ahead and click on the whiteboard tool. And we have our basic whiteboard. So you have all your options along the bottom here. So let's just start with the whiteboard tools specifically. So looking, uh, I guess, from left to right, we have our selection option, uh, which you're really not going to notice what that does unless you write on the whiteboard. So let's go ahead and write something on the whiteboard. I'm just going to select the simple pin option, exit out of that. And then I'm going to write something on the screen. Once I have something written on the screen, now that selection option becomes valid. So I can actually use that if I want to select what I wrote and maybe move it around, whoops, move it around the screen like so. And there are several other options there uh, at your disposal. So going back to the writing tool, these are some of my favorite options or, or my favorite pieces of the Lynx uh, app. So you have your calligraphy pen. You might have your, uh, you might find some use with the laser pen. If you hit the laser pen, what that does is if I want to draw attention to where I, uh, uh, this end does just not look like an end, Mr. Hammond. So we need to fix that but notice it disappears after a while. So the laser pen actually can be used if you don't want it to be a permanent uh, change to the slide. Let's see, there, select out of that. Um, some other options that we have uh, that I like, uh, the rainbow pen's kind of cool. If you select that every time I, my pen touches the screen, shows up as a different color. The other kind of cool option that we have here is this animated um, writing pen that we have. So notice as I write, it just continuously changes colors, which can be kind of cool. Um, some other pieces, there are a lot of tools here. Um, you have your handwriting recognition tools. There's a few different, uh, you have a handwriting shape and math recognition tools and some other tools that are available there. You have your highlighter. 
Um, highlighter, if you select it again, you can change the colors. Uh, you have your eraser, so if you want your pen to act as an eraser, you can select that um, and then start erasing. Now, let's say that what I have on the whiteboard, let's go ahead and erase my name, but maybe I want to keep those circles, those colorful circles up there, but I want to be able to write over top of them and erase that writing that is over top of them, but not the circles. I'm going to keep the circles there. If that's something that you might uh, find valuable, there's this little, um, you'll see two pages that kind of are overlapping each other all the way to the far right. If I select that, what that does is it essentially throws those, uh, whatever's on the screen in the background. So now when I write, I'm essentially writing over top of that. It's like a, like a second layer, so to speak. So I can write over this, and then if I want to erase that, I can erase it, and those circles still remain. Now at some point, if I decide I want to erase this, I can select that again, and then I can erase whatever was behind uh, the original writing. Just like the other whiteboard tool, you could actually add slides. So you can just hit that little plus sign there and it adds a new slide. So there's the first slide, second slide, and add as many slides as you need. And then we'll finish off with the little image button. So if you decide that you want to add images or GIFs or videos for any reason, you can select that, that uh, media file there and you can uh, search through Microsoft. You can search GIFs and you can search videos through YouTube and some other tools that you have there uh, at your disposal. So that kind of gives you a basic idea of what this whiteboard can do, uh, just kind of upfront. If you have any questions on this or anything else uh, with regards to links, please let me know. Thanks.